Hi, good evening. Hi, guys. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Hi, Danny. How are you? Nice, nice. Relax. Excellent. <laughs> nice to know. All right. Excuse me. Regálenme un minutito. Ya regreso, ¿sí? Okay. Thank you. All right, guys, I'm back. Thank you for the wait, and I'm sorry for that. Let's see. Hi, Carlita. Okay, Carla, no se preocupe. Hi, Domingo, ¿cómo siguió? Uh, it's, I good. You're good? Yeah. Oh, that's good. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. All right, that's nice. Hello. Hello. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Hello. Yeah, a little stuffy nose. Very good. Okay. Hi, Danny. How are you? How was your day today? Hi, teacher. Relax. My home. <laughs> oh, was your day off too? Was a day off? Daniel? Yes. 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 Nice. yes. Yes. Okay. Very good. So we already have here um, Domingo, of course, Danielito, Carla, Benazir. Rafael, hi Rafael, Jorge, all right, Vanessa Reyes, Ever, Carla Michelle, hi Carlita, Anana, Ana. hi Anita, how are you guys today? Hi teacher. Hello, hello, how are you? <clears throat> all right guys, so yesterday I believed we stopped on page 20. Four. All right, page 24, and I'm sharing that with you right now. And I told you that we're going to read this again. Ayer lo leíamos. Hay un par de palabras por ahí que ayer habíamos highlighted, pero eh, igual las voy a highlight again. All right, so una de ellas era enable. All right, so that was one of them. Uh, specificity, that was the other one. You guys remember the other ones that we underlined or highlighted? Measure. Bag. Measure, yes, also measure. Okay. Yes, teacher. Excellent, very nice. Okay, so as we were reading this yesterday, we encountered some words that may not be known to us, all right? So we need to check that reading, all right? So, vámonos eh, al number one here. And it says, let's start. Have you ever conducted a focus group? Why do you think it is important to design good questions about the product for the participants in the focus group to respond? All right. So question number one I'm going to ask for you guys right now is, what is a focus group? We have been talking about it on the conversations, like previous conversations, but I haven't really asked you. If you guys know what a focus group is, what is a focus group in your own words? Hi, Carlita, Vanessa. All right, does anybody know what a focus group is? Who can tell me? Hi, Mariano, hello, good evening. For me, teacher, Hi, teacher. good evening. Focus group, it's a group of persons. Uh -huh, people. Who, of people, yes who have um, one of 
uh, of, of someone uh, interesting in common? In common ah. yes. Hold on. Yes. Hold on. yes. Yes. Uh -huh. Ah, all right. Okay. That for me. Be, yes, yes. Sure, that could be one. What about the rest of you guys? What is a focus group for you? How do you define focus group? Anybody? What is a focus group? Si alguien le pregunta, what is a focus group? What is it? <clears throat> is a focus group is sure. the, the people uh, selected uh, on, on this, uh, ability? Yeah. Ability. All right. Yes. Yeah, um, ability in you. Uh, we uh, uh, they common or they they common ability. Digamos. Oh, all right, Domingo. I can hear you. Yeah, that's fine. Very good. Anybody else with another definition? Mariano, I think you. Yeah, sure. Yes. Uh, it, I think is the. I would with with the people interchange ideas. Okay. All right, very good. Yeah, sounds fair. Hi, Oscar. Oscar, I'm asking everyone else, what is a focus group? Do you have any idea of what a focus group is? Oscar? Okay, that's okay, uh, Oscar. I don't know if you're having problems with your audio. Um, okay, Vanessa Reyes, I just read your um, uh, your message. All right, so I'm gonna, I just typed on the chat, what is a focus group? And of course you can find the definition on the web. And it says a focus group is a research method that brings together a small group of people to answer questions in a moderated setting, all right? No sé si pueden leerlo ahí en el chat. Creo que se los puse todos, el chat de aquí de Zoom. Can you read it for me, please? Can someone read it? Can someone read what is a focus group? Lo acabo de mandar al, al chat. De... Uh, a focus group is a research method that brings together a small group of people to answer questions in a moderated setting. Setting, very good, yes. Setting. Okay. Very good, okay. So a focus group is a research method, maybe or perhaps not only for a product, it's for anything, all right? As long as you're making a research, like, you do you know what a research is, guys? What is a research? Do you understand research? It's an investigation. All right. No decimos an investigation, ¿verdad? Decimos a research. Okay. So a focus group is a research method. It's a método de investigación that brings together a small group of people. Okay. You're not going to have a hundred. Puede que tenga cien. Pero entonces hace varios focus groups. All right. So you have less people, all right? Um, to answer questions in a moderated setting. Entendemos esa, a moderated setting. Do you know what that means? Do you know what a moderated setting is? It's like a survey. Yeah. A survey? Yes. yeah, pretty much. Lo que pasa que como están en un focus group, I, you have questions, all right? Entonces lo hacemos de una forma, hay un moderador, all right? It's not just you do whatever, all right? It's people guiding them, all right? Guiding that focus group. It also, it would also depend on the type of research, okay? Maybe a focus groups, uh, who's listening today? Hold on. Ah, Salvador. Okay, Chamba, that's okay, thank you. All right. <clears throat> Maybe a focus group for a product is different, of course, than a focus group for a research, like a real research for something like, I don't know, uh, more like tough, maybe. Ah, okay. Espérame, ya, ya le contesto, Vanesita. 
All right, so focus group, it depends, all right? Pero siempre hay un moderador, hay alguien guiando esas preguntas, esas questions, ese questionnaire, to small group of people. Y hacemos esto para un, es un método de investigación for any kind. In this case, lo vamos a centrar en el context of products, all right? Porque es lo que hemos estado hablando. Vanessa is asking, <coughs> excuse me, what is the difference between persons and people? Lo que pasa, Vane, que person es singular y tipo es plural. Entonces, de hecho, no podríamos decir, Vane, persons. Si usted tiene más de una persona en clase, en mi caso tengo 20, por decir algo, eh, yo no puedo decir I have 20 persons. Tengo, I, I puedo decir I have 20 people, but not 20 persons. Persons no es gramaticalmente adecuado. Person is only one. Ese es el singular. ¿Cuál es el singular de person? People. Okay. All right, Bunny? Okay, very good. All right, so that is a focus group. Ahora, you're welcome. Sabiendo now, what is a focus group that is a small, is a small group of people to answer questions in a moderated setting? That's what a focus group is. Have you guys ever taken part on a focus group? Anybody? Have you ever been part of a focus group before? in your job or for a product or for any research job, maybe a university that you guys studied at a university. Did you ever have or participated on any focus groups or not really? Yes, no, maybe. No? No, teacher, in my case, no. All right. Yes, teacher, and oh. one, uh, I, I remember uh, one okay, occasion and in one uh, trainer, one uh, capacitation, uh, I have, I did, uh, I did part in, in, in one group okay. to the other group. With, okay. All in, right. a mini, in, a, in a mini group and work in a mini group. <laughs> it's, 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 it's like, uh, uh our, our class no uh, we are we are we are we're steady in one group to 20 people and when we are going to work in a little work uh, that will be one example to focus group when we are going to work to the 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 meaning group in, in in our class okay yeah could be could be ever yeah, it could be an example However, yeah, especially when I ask you questions and you have to solve those questions, right? But also a focus group um, is when you have a questionnaire of any kind, all right? And you have these people answer these questions that you are asking, all right? Y por eso es, estamos hablando del focus group today because in the previous conversation, we heard the word focus group. Y ayer en la lectura, antes de irnos, we were talking about focus groups. And today, you guys are going to create a questionnaire about your product, thinking about the focus groups. All right? Como en el slide 3 que hicieron de su presentación, hablábamos, creo que sí fue el 3, de su target audience, ¿verdad que sí? Su target people. Yes, a quién va destinado ese producto. Okay, entonces tomando eso en cuenta, we're going to imagine that we are going to be working with a, a focus group que esté dentro de ese target audience que hemos nosotros elegido. Y basado en eso, we're going to make questions. We're going to make a questionnaire, all right, based on the, on the uh, target audience and the product that you guys are selling or you guys are creating, okay? So let's go back here then to the reading, que esta la hicimos ayer. All right, but we're going to check it again. All right, I'm going to read it, guys, solo para, para calentar motores. No, sabe que I'm going to take attendance right now because it's time to take attendance y luego la, la volvemos a leer. So you guys like warm up. Si gusta, and it would be a very good idea, I want you to read it. Empiecen a leerla ahorita ustedes ahí en lo que estoy taking attendance. Y se encuentra Teacher, hola. The eh, question en A G. Example. E G. Example. 
Uh -huh, EG. EG is example. Yes, is the uh, the abbreviation, uh, Domingo? For example. For example. Yes, that means for oh. example. Yeah. Solo déjeme aquí. Let me see here. Today is Thursday already. Abner Eli Fuentes Flores. Adela Trinidad González Consuegra. Okay, thank you. Claudia Guadalupe Arias de Gómez. Present teacher. Claudita. Daniel Antonio Luna. Present teacher. Thank you, Domingo Alexander. Present teacher. Great. Ever de Jesús. Present. Jorge Alfredo Argueta Flores. Present teacher. José Roberto Martínez Bernabé. Carla Benacir Lara González. Carla Michelle Brizuela Portillo. Carla Vanessa. Present teacher. Thank you, Michelle. Carla Vanessa Vázquez de Ayala. Thank you. Uh, Kevin Esteban Mejibar Merino. Leticia Guadalupe García de Miranda. Oscar Arnulfo. Present teacher. Thank you, Leti. Uh, Oscar, I know. Present. Uh, Oscar, thank you. Uh, Mariano Jesus, Jose Paca Santa Maria. Present teacher. Sorry. <laughs> Ahí estaba, me había saltado. A ver, oh, Rafael Ernesto Hernández Sandoval. Present teacher. Excellent, thank you. Nice to see you again, Rafael. Salvador Augusto Sorto Rivas. Present, Miss. Vanessa Noemí Reyes Lemos. Walter Omar Castaneda Perlera. Present. Thank you. Okay, and then we have Ana María Palacios Araujo. Present teacher. Thank you, Vicky Dinora Gutierrez de Durán. Bismar Ulises Martinez Ortiz. Present. Yes, thank you. And Debbie Jasmine Giron Ramirez, que me dijo que estaba todavía en el trabajo, and she's coming in later. All right. Okay, guys, let's see. Yes. Oh, Kevin is here also. Hi, Kevin. Espérenme, Kevin. All right, excellent. All right, guys, so let's go back here to the reading that we were doing yesterday. I'm gonna read it again. All right, vamos a ir hoy párrafo por párrafo so you guys can check pronunciation and you can check meaning. You can help your members have a more productive se session by asking questions that grab their attention and get them to provide more honest and complete responses. Any questions on that first paragraph, guys? Vocabulario or pronunciation? No? Teacher, responses is like responsibility. No, responses son como answers. De hecho, es un sinónimo. Okay. Thank you. Yo le digo, what is your response to my question or what is your answer to my question? Lo que pasa que response es más formal. All right. Excellent. A ver, ¿esta la saben, Grab? No, teacher. Ah, verdad que no. Y entonces, pues, niños, ¿qué pasó? Grab. A, pre a preguntarle, iba yo. Excellent, Ever. Very nice. Claro, es, es, como de agarrar, sí. es como de agarrar una idea. Sí, Carlita. Grab. grab. De hecho, puede ser, obviamente, en el contexto, como Carla Vanessa lo acaba de decir, Grab. Es, a, es agarrar una idea o también en otro contexto sería nada más agarrar. Si yo le digo, grab on to this, es agárrese de esto, ¿verdad? Porque no se cae. All right, so it can be, grab es agarrar, sostener, agarrar. All right, en este caso, asking questions that grab, que agarren o llamen la atención de las personas. En este caso lo vamos a traducir como llamar la atención de algo, ¿ok? A ver. Number one, introductions. Begin the session with a set of questions that will enable focus group members to get to know each other better. Example, their favorite hobbies and interests, what they enjoy, focus groups, etc. All right, number two. Ya ya teníamos enable, ya lo vamos a ver. Fun is sort of questions or activity. Ask a fun question or do a team building game to get the group's creative creativity flowing. For example, ask them to think of three words to describe their favorite, their favorite hobby. Questions in paragraph two, o todo está bien? 
Teacher. Yes. Eh, fun starter. Ah. Eh, teacher, perdón, yo no escuché nada ahorita, estos últimos segundos. Anita. Yes, teacher. Eh, y los demás me ayudaron. Los demás yes, me ayudaron. Yes, teacher. Ah, yes, teacher. Anita, ¿me está oyendo ahorita mejor? O sea, si ¿sí me oye? Ahorita sí, teacher. Ah, vaya. Sí, sí. De, de, de la Inter, pero creo que ahorita estamos bien. All right. Fun starter. Ya la, ya la subrayé, ya vamos a regresar a él. What about uh, team building esto? Do you know what that means, guys? Sí, yes. Is, group activities. Ajá. Uh -huh. uh, team building. Game. Uh -huh. What is it? A group activity. Ajá. Right. Uh -huh. Sí, All right, okay, ya lo vamos a regresar ahí. Let's go to number three. Uh, format, when choosing focus group questions, be sure to include a mix of multiple choice questions to provide a structure and direction and open-ended questions to allow for further exploration and discovery. Ninguna palabra de ese párrafo? No? Yes? Eh, far, farther. Further, okay, very good, thank you. Thank you, Ismar. Open, open ender. Open ended, okay, ya lo subrayo, give me a second. Open ended, ajá. Uh -huh. De hecho, lo vamos a subrayar todo porque es como son el, el tipo de preguntas, de cómo son el tipo de preguntas. All right, number four, <clears throat> rating scale. Select an appropriate rating scale to measure different levels of approval. Entendemos lo que es approval. Yeah, yes, some of you, yes. I don't know the rest. Apro apro aprobación. Okay, yes, all right, very good. La, bueno, igual la voy a subrayar por aquellos que no la sabíamos. All right. The, the title te teacher writing scale. Ahorita voy, wait. Okay, I'm fighting with this. Uh, rating a scale? This one, Evan? Uh, yes, yes, yes. Okay, yeah, vamos a ver. Very nice. All right, specificity, avoid back open ended questions to simply ask why. The word why has a negative meaning. It makes the respondent think their first answer was not good. Instead, ask respondents to provide some specific examples of what they liked or did not like about the item in question. Nada? En ese párrafo, aparte de specificity y vague, nada más? Excellent. All right, entendemos lo que es respondent. Yes, no. Que no Excelente. Respuestas. No. ¿El qué, Daniel? Disculpe. Eh, respuestas, pero no un more, more polite. Fíjense que sí se deriva no. de respuestas, pero ya le voy a decir cómo. Como demanda. <risa> las personas que están respondiendo. Son las personas que están respondiendo. Ustedes cuando responden una pregunta mía, you become respondents. All right. Okay, luego la seis. Closing, thank the participant for their help and ask if there anything could be done, if there can, if there anything could be done to improve their experience as a member of the focus groups. All right, any, any word on that one? Okay. So if there isn't anything else, guys, vámonos a la primera. Ya, ya, ya Carlita nos había dicho, grab their attention. Grab es agarrar, tomar. En este caso es llamar la atención. All right? Si, llamar la atención no de regaño, sino que llamar la atención de hacer que la gente llegue o ponga atención o, o, o les impacte en algo, de alguna forma. All right? Si yo le digo, um, a veces con temas gramaticales, I grab your attention. ¿Verdad? Porque es como que ahí están tratando de poner más atención because you don't understand it or you just want to practice it more. Entonces, grab their attention es como llamar la atención de esas personas. Responses, we said, is a synonym for answers. 
Usted puede decir, I responded to the question or I answered the question. Igual, response puede ser verbo o puede ser nombre. Ok, en este caso es nombre, pero si usted lo puede ocupar como verbo y dice, I respond to your question, that's a verb. Ok. Enable, ¿alguien sabe qué es enable? No, yes. Habilitar. Puede ser, también puede ser permitir. All right, puede, eh, the questions that will enable, que permitan a los miembros de los focus group que se conozcan entre sí. All right. All right, let's see. Uh, fun started questions. Esos son tipo de preguntas. Fun started questions son preguntas o actividades que rompen el hielo y pueden ser divertidas. All right, so fun started questions. Son actividades o preguntas, en este caso, divertidas. Okay, fun started questions. Team building. Do we understand what team building is? Team building? Yes, no? Yes. Excuse me? Convivencia. Son convivencias del grupal, este chico. Sí, de hecho, ya, you can say. Ya yeah, cuando decimos eh, team building games, en este caso son actividades que van a unificar el grupo, a unir al grupo, all right, a que el grupo crezca, all right, en forma positiva, obviamente. Ok. Then we have um, open-ended questions, igual que fun started questions, que teníamos en el 2, number 3, cuando decimos open-ended questions, son un tipo de preguntas, son preguntas abiertas, all right? Open-ended questions, okay? To allow for, for further exploration, para hacer una exploración más allá y, des, y, y que nos ayude a descubrir cosas, ¿verdad? Entonces, further es como más allá, okay? Uh, rating scale es la escala de valores, es la escala de nota. A uh, rating scale, si usted dice así, ah, si del 0 al 5, 0 siendo el menor y 5 siendo la mayor, that's a rating scale. All right. Measure, ya dijimos que es medir. An approval, decía Daniel que era. ¿Qué era Daniel approval? Um, uh, uh, ya yeah, me olvidó. <risa> es ah, que prueban las personas de, mm -hmm. nivel de, de nivel de a, aprobación. Aprobación. All right, very good. aprobación. Very nice. All right. Uh, luego tenemos especificity. Esa la marqué más por la pronunciación. Sí, Hola. Perdón, no le entendí bien que aprobó que era de aprobación. Niveles de aprobación. Thank you. Yes, you're welcome. Specificity is algo específico. All right, viene de la palabra spe specific. All right, avoid, avoid, sabemos que es avoid. Antes de vague. Evitar. Sí, avoid. Evitar. Okay, avoid vague open-ended question, o sea, vaga, ¿verdad? Que por, en este caso nos está diciendo no solo preguntemos por qué. All right, the word why, en este caso, este tipo de preguntas tiene un impacto o un significado negativo para quien corre, para quien está desarrollando el cuestionario. All right, it makes the respondent, o sea, el que está, pues, es, que está contestando el cuestionario, que su pregunta, la pregunta anterior pudo haber estado mala. Y acuérdese que en estas, como son open-ended questions, no hay true or, no hay right or wrong. All right, it's pretty much what you think about it. Instead, sabemos que es instead. Instead es en lugar de. Instead. Ok. El, en, o, en lugar de eso, pregunte a, la, a, la, a las personas que están respondiendo to provide more, to provide some specific examples of what they liked or did not like about the item in question. Ahora, esta no es pregunta, es sobre el item en cuestión. All right? 
Yes. All right. Y luego closing. All right. Yeah. Thank the participants for their help. Blah blah blah. Any anything else, guys, from this from this reading, or estamos bien? Are we okay? Teacher. All okay, right. teacher. All right, a ver. Eh, teacher, teacher, yes. teacher eh, excuse me, team building, team building. Team building, team building games son actividades o juegos que pueden unir o hacer crecer el grupo. Team building activities o team building games. Es para fomentar el trabajo en equipo, en otras palabras, Domingo. All right, a ver, Ever, de todas las palabras que están acá, escoja cinco y dígamelas. Cualquier cinco, solo la pronunciación quiero ver. Yo, ok, teacher. Uh, grab, respond, enable, open ended question, measure. All right, very good. Yes, all right. En el caso, Ever, en este, eh, creo que me dijo la segunda cuesta, ¿verdad? Ever, responses. Responses, sí. Ajá. Entonces, esa S suena, ¿verdad, Ever? Si solo fuera una respuesta, usted dice... No, no, no sé si le pasa que a veces usted se responde alguna... Oye. Responses, ok, yes, ok. Que van a decir Perfect. algo, vean en su pensamiento para la otra. Let's see. Um, <laughs> Mariano, eh, escoja cinco de ahí, Mariano. This is a fun starter, team building, open end question. Eh... Uh, Specificity. Specificity. Question. Okay, very good. Um, igual, Mariano, y eso nos pasa a varios, cuando, le, le, cuando estamos leyendo, asegúrese que si hay una S, se pronuncia esa S. ¿Verdad? Entonces, okay, open-ended questions. All right, very good. Thank you. Open-ended questions. Domingo, regáleme cinco, y luego vamos con Rafael, y luego vamos con Oscar. Cualquier cinco de las que están ahí. Ajá, Domingo. Domingo, ¿no? ¿Qué se me hizo Domingo? Enable. 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 Uh -huh. eh, phone start, started. Yes. Eh, writing scale. Scale. Uh, rating a scale. Rating writing is writing a scale. Uh -huh. uh, a specific city. Uh, specific. 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 Specificity. Specific. No, perdón. Specificity. Así. Specificity. Specificity. City. Excellent. Specific city. Uh -huh. Okay. okay. Uh -huh. uh, responding. Responding. Respondent. Very good, Domingo. Thank you. All right, Rafael, tell me your five words, please. Okay. Fun starter. Writing scale. Clothing. Enable. En grab. ¿Cuál es la, otra, la última? ¿Cuál fue la última, Rafael? I'm sorry. Grab. Ah, oh, grab. Yes, grab. Sorry. yes, 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 yes. It's fine. Thank you. Excellent. Oscar, luego va a Carla Vanessa, luego va Jorgito. Uh -huh. Fun starter. Okay. Responses. Team building. Specificity. Excellent. Well, instead. 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 All right. Instead. Yeah. Igual Oscar en team building, la uno se pronuncia Oscar. All right. Team building. Igual que usted dice, hay un edificio, a new building. All right. Building. Mm -hmm. Okay. Excellent. Thank you. Um, Carlita, Carla Vanessa. Okay. Uh, members. Uh, introduction, activity, question, and some simple. Okay. All right. Very good. Let's see. Um, what about Jorge? 
Okay. From start, uh -huh. start building. Yes. Uh, open adding questions. Uh, yes. Perdón. No, open ended questions. Estaba bien. Uh -huh. uh, uh, specificity. Specificity, Jorgito. Specificity. Excellent. Uh, question. Excellent, Jorge. Very nice. A ver, voluntarios ahora. Mi teacher. Okay, thank you. Go ahead. Specificity. Yes. Rating scale. Form starter. Measure. And open ended question. Very good, Miss Mar. Thank you. All right. Anybody else? Another volunteer. Tengo 22. No creo que solo ustedes quieran. All right. Yes, go ahead. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, the grab responses, enable, full starter, team building, uh, open ended question. Okay. Specificity. Specificity, yes, Claudita, very nice. Claudita, igual cuando decimos building, acuérdese que la U no suena, Claudia. Entonces decimos building, así como que no estuviera la U. Building. Excellent, Claudia, very nice, thank you. All right, two more people, two more people that wants to participate and telling me these words, please. Me, teacher. Excellent, okay. Grab. Responsor. Excellent. Enable. Very nice. Team bowling. Okay. Few state stater. Just Open in the question. Okay. Future. Uh, measure. Okay. Rating scale. Scale, right. scale. Scale, Michelle. Scale. Yes. Muy bien. Es specificity. Specificity, muy bien, specificity. A ver, Michelle, Carlita, cuando decimos building igual, la U es muda, la U no suena. Oye, entonces decimos mm -hmm. building, como que en la U no existiera. Okay. Team building. Excellent, team building. Very good, Carla. Nice, thank you. Okay, the last person. Debbie, ya la veo. Hi, Debbie. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Uh, specificity. Excellent. Uh, approval. Approval. Yes. Approval. Approval. Uh, approval. Uh, team building. Uh, measure. 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 Uh, further. 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 Excellent. Further. All right, guys. Very nice. Okay. So let's see, guys. This is what we're going to be working on right now. Solo déjeme ver algo aquí. Okay. Si vamos a... Voy a dejar de compartir. Si vamos a trabajar ahorita en nuestros grupos. Ok, Roberto, no se preocupe. Ok, Abner, no lo había visto. Hi, Abner. <laughs> All right. Vamos Hi. A... Hi. Vamos a trabajar en nuestros grupos ahora, en los grupos del producto. Entonces me va a llevar un ratito en armarlos, pero tengan paciencia ahí. ¿Qué van a hacer ahora? Van a pensar como ya tienen su targeted audience, all right? ya tienen pensado a, a quién va dirigido el producto que han hecho, entonces van a pensar que van a hacer un focus group con ese tipo de gente, de su targeted audience, all right? y van a diseñar en su grupo un cuestionario. Quiero... Because you guys are intermediate level now, I want eight questions. All right, eight. No me van a salir con tres ni con cinco. I want eight. Si estuvieran en avanzado, fueran dos. All right, so you guys are still in intermediate. So eight, eight questions related to your product. Entonces, eso vamos a hacer ahorita. All right, voy a abrir los grupos. Eh, con los del producto quiere decir que esa sería nuestra quinta, es ¿cierto? ¿Sería nuestra quinta slide? Yes. Yes. All right. Everybody has to have four y ahorita vamos a trabajar en el quinto, ¿cierto? Okay. Yes. 
Excellent. Siempre en su, en su PowerPoint. Ok. Solo déjenme encontrar mis grupos aquí. Right, Teacher, esas preguntas van dirigidas al público. ¿Cómo? Sí, van, van, a ser, van a ser de caso, eh, um, Trini, que van a ser un cuestionario para focus groups. All right. Dirigido, o sea, un focus group con lo, el target audience que usted ya escogió en su grupo. Si su target audience eran mujeres de entre 20 y 40 años, por decir algo, o su eh, producto es dirigido a niños, o su producto es dirigido a gente mayor. All right? Entonces van a pensar dos cosas. Tienen que pensar a quién va dirigido ese tipo de producto y así basado a quién va dirigido y el tipo de producto, las preguntas que ustedes quieren hacerle a ese focus group. Ok. Ok, yeah? thank you. All right. Ok, guys, let's see here. Vamos a empezar la odisea esta. Mariano, Rafael y Bismar. Hoy sí están los tres. Yes, teacher. Y mire qué gala, porque Rafael y Bismar me habían quedado juntos de una vez. Excelente. Grupo 1 ya está listo. Super, I like that. A sala 2 tengo a Carla Michelle, a Vanessa Noemi. Vanessa, usted puede participar ahorita. Vanessa Noemi. She's not even here. A ver. Jorgito, ¿dónde está Jorgito? Que no lo veo. Aquí estoy, teacher, pero antier me quedé yo solito en un grupo. ¿Por qué, Jorgito? No sé. No había nadie más. Y ayer que no pude estar toda la clase. A ver, Debbie con Carla Vanessa, ¿verdad? Y Daniel, así es eso. Sí, sí. ¿verdad? Yes, teacher. Yes. Y Carlita Vanessa, Carla Vanessa. All right. Ustedes ya están. Ahorita. No se preocupe si es a la 1, a la 2, a la 3. Lo que importa es que estén con quien tienen que estar. All right. Ana, usted está con. No me acuerdo, teacher, pero. <risa> Creo... Usted está con Jorge y con Walter. Pero es que. Ya está en este grupo también. Hello, that's good. A ver. Trini, usted va con Domingo y Oscar Arnulfo, ¿cierto? Yes. Domingo. Oscar. All right. De Trini, Domingo y Oscar ya está. Daniel, Debbie, Carla, Vanessa ya están. Ana, Jorgito y Walter ya están. Claudita, usted está con. Con Kevin, Kevin y Vicky. Creo que es Vicky. Vicky no ha entrado. Esa no está ni, no está ninguna. Ever, usted está con. Con Roberto. Estoy yes, con teacher. Roberto y. Y Chamba. Right? Yes. Yes, teacher. Actually, I'm right to my house. In, in a few meetings, I can participate. Excellent. Yes, no problem. Thank you. Sí, el doctor. Alvaro, que se me. Voy a abrirlos y los que tengo que seguir voy a mover ahorita, all right? Ahorita vámonos a los grupos ya. Ese es slide 5, es en su, eh, como título ponga focus group y eh, empieza a hacer el questionnaire. Ocho, ocho preguntas. Guiándose por lo que acabamos de leer, no me vaya a poner preguntas como why do you like the product? 
All right, tenemos que hacer como uh, evitar ese bad questions, all right, pero ahí vamos. So, la idea es intentar. Me escriben, por favor, en el chat, en el grupo de WhatsApp, no se les olvide cuando ya vayan terminando. Please. All right, let's go. Yo voy a seguir moviendo a los demás. Leti, ¿usted con quién está, Leti? Leti está con Jorge también. Con, con Ana. Y con Jorge, ¿verdad? Sí, es que yo, sí, me yo parece que sí. <ríe> ahorita voy, ahorita voy. Leti la voy a asignar a... Me uno entonces todavía, ¿o sí? Eh, sí, únase, únase, ya voy. Vaya, Leti, ya la uní. Thank you. Thank you. Michelle, usted está con, con Abner y Walter, ¿verdad? Michelle, si gusta, se va a su grupo y les ayuda y apóyeles. Oye, porfis. Leti, ya la mandé la invitación, le llegó.
con la Leti. Teacher. No, and so I have problem with the internet. Okay, what group are you in? I have, bueno, with Ana and Jorge. Ana, grupo cinco. Okay, ahorita la mando, Leti. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, teacher. Hi, Roberto. Can you add with uh, Ever, please? Yes, right now. Okay, hey, thank you. Uh, yeah, you're welcome.
Why teacher? Right. Why, what happened? We don't finish yet. How many did you have ever? Only eight. But only eight were needed. Don't want, don't want ten, no. No, I said eight. Ah, okay. Ah, perfect. Oh, then. So the, finish. Excellent. So ever the book says ten, but I said eight. <laughs> Oh my goodness. All right, I guess everybody's coming back now. All right. Hold on, guys. Give me a second. I'm just checking something here. All right. Okay. So you guys ready with your questions? Yes. You were able to finish eight of them. Everybody has eight at least. Excellent. But if not, eight is okay. Everybody got eight? Yes, thank you. Yes, yes. My group, yes, yes. Very nice. All right. That's, that's what I wanted you guys to do. Okay. So this is what we're going to do. We already have five slides. Is that correct? This was the la the fifth one. Yes. All right. Okay. So, yes. Um, yes, teacher. all right. So this is what we're going to do. I'm going to start asking you guys. Now, this is going to be individually. You're going to do it here right now. All right, remember that yesterday, los voy a llevar a la página 22 on your book. Let's go back to your page, oops. Let's go back to your page 22 of your book. Vamos a cambiar un poquito what they are asking us about here. Here, they were, uh, they were asking us to use this transition of addition um, words. All right, so here we have, remember, furthermore, in addition, moreover, what's more, also, y las otras que vimos nosotros aparte. All right, now, here, they wanted you to, um, to write a 10-line paragraph about the advantages and disadvantages of implementing a focus group to test a product. Pero lo vamos a cambiar un poquito. Lo vamos a hacer de la siguiente manera. Write, no van a escribir a 10-line paragraph, van a escribir a 5-line paragraph, la mitad, a 5-line paragraph, solo about the advantages of your product. Y eso lo hacen individual, no lo van a hacer en su grupo, porque ya estuvieron bastante en su grupo, pero piense, eh, cada quien sabe el, el producto que usted ha elegido con su grupo. Para usted, como Carla Vanessa, Domingo Alexander, Rafael Ernesto, Oscar Arnulfo, for you, what are the advantages of your product? In that five-line paragraph, what I want you to write or what I want you to include are words of transition for addition. Como furthermore, usted está tratando de vender ese producto, all right? Me está diciendo, me está convenciendo a mí las ventajas de que yo pueda tener como cliente o como, como consumidor o consumidora para usar su producto. Convenzan. Entonces tiene que decir, además tal cosa, eh, in addition tal otra, all right? Five line paragraph. Va a ser individual, all right? Escríbalo. Puede ser en in your notebook o de una vez en su computadora o como usted quiera. Y luego ya casi para irnos vamos a volver a los grupos y usted comparte. Cada quien va a compartir su propio párrafo con sus compañeros. Y entre los tres van a escoger, ah no, el de Domingo está mejor, ah no, el de Oscar está mejor. No, medianitas. All right? Yes? Ok, entonces ahorita haciéndolo individually. Five lines. A five-line paragraph 
talking about the advantages of your product. Y necesito que incluyan palabras de addition. Puede ser furthermore, in addition, also, uh, what's more, moreover, like you say, quiera, pero por lo menos son dos, dos palabras en ese, cinco, en ese párrafo de cinco líneas. Empezamos ahorita. Tienen 10 minutes to do it right now. All right. Nos quedamos aquí. Esto es individual ahorita. Teacher, disadvantages. No, solo, yeah. no, solo advantages. Ahorita no quiero disadvantages. Solo advantages. Solo advantages. Yes. Ok. Teacher. Yes, Leti. Del mismo producto que hemos pensado con el grupo. Exacto, sí, es el mismo. Si usted por decirle algo ha pensado en un shampoo como grupo, usted ahorita individual está tratando de, uh, de escribir las ventajas para usar ese shampoo. En 10 minutos se van a ir a sus grupos y van a leer los tres párrafos cada quien y entre todos van a, en ese grupo van a decidir cuál es el mejor párrafo. All right. Okay, teacher. Thank you.
Are you guys done? Yes. Thanks, Anita. Yes. Excellent, Walter. Everybody else is done? Yes, teacher, I think. Excellent, very good. Daniel, Debbie, Rafael, Oscar, Carla Vanessa. Uh, <laughs> All right. Carla Vanessa, you're finished? Yes. Excellent. Domingo, Mariano, Abner. Yes, to share. All right, guys. So now I'm going to send you back to your groups. What I want you to do is, for example, I know that Debbie, Carlita, Vanessa, and Daniel are working in working together. That's right. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So when you get into your groups, Debbie reads, for example, Debbie reads her paragraph. Then Carla, then Daniel. All right. Everybody. I mean, Debbie and Carlita and Daniel listen to everybody in their group. And then you decide in one paragraph. Yes, se que decidieron lo ponen en la, en la página 6 de su presentación. All right? Yes? Okay. Let's go. Eso va a pasar en todos los grupos. You decide. Okay? Tenemos en lo que resta y luego los llamo para ir terminando and take the last attendance. Nos vamos. Let's go. Okay.
Hola, teacher, creo que me salí de mi grupo. Margarita. Creo que me salí de mi grupo. Ya habíamos terminado, pues, pero me salí. No te preocupes, si gusta solo, espérame un minutito, ya voy a sacar okay. más. Uh -huh. Thank you, Anita. Ok. All right, guys, I hope you were um, able to finish and choose one of your paragraphs, all right? Make sure that if you chose one, you included it on a slide number six. And then the idea is that tomorrow, we're going to be able to finally listen to all the presentations. Y así vamos a dar prácticamente cierre a la unidad dos, all right? That we've been doing for quite a while now. All right, guys, I'm going to take the last attendance so you guys may go rest. Let's see here. Ave, Abner Eli Fuentes Flores. I'm here. Adela Trinidad Gonzalez Consuegra. Claudia Guadalupe Arias de Gómez. Present teacher. Daniel Antonio Luna. Present teacher. Domingo Alexander Gonzalez. Present teacher. Ever de Present. Ah, Ever de Jesús. Present teacher. Jorge Alfredo Argueta Flores. Present teacher. Jorge Roberto Martínez Bernabé. Uh, Carla Present teacher. Present. Carla Benetti Clara González. Right. Carla Michelle Brizuela Portillo. Present teacher. Vázquez de Ayala. Present. Kevin Esteban Mejibar Merino. Leticia Guadalupe García de Miranda. Present teacher. Thank you. Mariano José Paca Santa María. Present teacher. Arnulfo Villatoro Herrera. Mm. Rafael Ernesto Hernández Sandoval. Present teacher. Salvador Augusto Sorto Rivas. Vanessa. Present, Thank you. Vanessa Noemí Reyes Lemus. Present. Thank you. Walter Omar Castaneda Perlera. Present dicho. Ana María Palacios Araujo. Present dicho. Vicky Dinora Gutiérrez de Durán. Bismar Ulises Martínez Ortiz. Present teacher. Thank you. And David Jasmine Giron Ramírez.
All right, guys, thank you so much for joining class today. Carlita, Carla Vanessa, no sé si se puede quedar un ratito. Los demás nos vemos mañana. Thank you for joining class. Okay. I'll see you guys. Good night, everyone. Good night. 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 All right, Carlita, Vanessa, so how are you? <laughs> very good. Excellent, very good. So, Carla, eh, everything okay so far? You're okay with the platform? We are okay, yes. Okay, very good. All right. Everything's fine. Everything's okay? All right, very good. I don't know if you have any questions, Vanessa, about anything. I mean, what we have studied so far or any, any English questions? <laughs> <laughs> uh this time no question all right everything is perfect okay i like the class so that's good good to hear carlita very nice so carla you live here in san salvador or you live in la paz i'm living in la paz but i am from so yeah yes. still. Uh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> all right yeah but you but work I, I, I moved Okay. I moved I moved here from to La Paz because my my husband is Oriundo. He's from La Paz. I mean he's, he's from, from. Ah, all right. Then, La Paz. Your job is close to you then. Yes. It's like uh three blocks from my house. No way. <laughs> really? Yes. So I will call the day. Uh -huh. to to go to to the chat. Very nice. How long have you been working at uh, Textiles La Paz for? Eight years. Eight years. Wow, that's a while. Eight years. All right. Uh, which yes. area do you work at, Carlita? What? Excuse me. Which area? Which area do you work at? Ah, uh, um, in the purchasing area. Purchasing area. Uh, yes. <laughs> And we are uh, the the ones who order all the items or the fabric goods, the fabric that we need to use in the production floor. Yeah. All right. Oh. Okay. And also to the um packing. Okay. Area. All right. Yes. Do you do you happen to know Fredes? No. <laughs> yes. All right. <laughs> there Fredes is. is is somebody special. Special, <laughs> yes. Okay. <laughs> Fredes uh, get hired on after the pandemic. Uh huh. Uh, Fredes. Fredes. Um, no, I am confused. Yeah, because Fred Fredes. was there before pandemic. Because he was my student. Before? Yeah, he was my student 2017, 2018. And he was on the export uh -huh. area? Yes. Export? Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, he's He's there. Uh, the, yes. Oh, okay. Well, uh, but I am not his friend. <laughs> right. Yeah. You're okay. Okay. Very good. Yeah. I met many people from there. I met, um, I had people from, well, export, import, export, quality, uh, from the quality control. I had, um, I can't remember, but from, um, design like the uh the logos and stuff from graphic design i guess uh, Juan Carlos, Vanessa. i don't know if they are there now juan carlos is a tall one yeah tall and chubby yeah uh -huh. <laughs> and yeah and, and oh, smiling yeah juan carlos yes i know it 
Okay, right. Yes, I, I met Vanessa. Vicky. She's also Vanessa. with them. She was in the same in the same area as Juan Carlos. And then I also knew Valentin. Ah, uh, Valentin. Ah, uh, it's another case. <laughs> It's another special case. <laughs> All right, yeah. Uh, he uh, quiet. He what? The, he quiet. Oh, all right. Eh, renunciar. See, he quits. Ah, okay. Wait. Oh, okay. He quits. Uh huh. Yeah, he quits. Oh. Uh, because ah, uh, issue. Yeah. In the area. Of course. So, uh, uh, maybe a week ago, I saw him oh, the, right. at the supermarket. Okay. But also, he wasn't my friend. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of course. Yes, I understand. Yeah, I was there with those guys for a year and a half every Saturday. So, I used to. Travel. Dennis? Yes. Yes, Dennis. I remember Dennis. Yes. Dennis Quintero. I, I can't remember his last name, but I had a Dennis. And also, uh, it's a thinny one. Yes, yes. <laughs> oh, yeah. He, he is my friend. Oh. Uh, in that time, I was uh, his boss. Oh, okay. All right. Mm -hmm. and but I, no, I'm not now. Right. And I also knew Mauricio. I don't know if he's there. Mm, he quality was, one. No, Mauricio was, I think, from the human department, the human resources. Oh, Mauricio Ponce. Uh huh. Yes, yes he's at human resources. Yes, yes. he's in human resources. And Another then, special case. <laughs> many special <laughs> cases in that place, Vane. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I met Vane, no, Amarlene. Amarlene, uh, yes, he was at. Uh, at that time that I think that he, she was at, uh, I can't remember. I can't remember either in which department. Uh, screen printing, I think. Uh-huh, I think so, yes. Screen yes. printing, yes. Right. Yes. And now she is at, uh, contabilty. Oh, an account in, in the accounting department. In the content department, yes. Okay, all right. Wow, many yeah. people I met from that place. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Very nice, interesting. Okay, that's nice to have another student from that place. <laughs> Very good. At that time, I think that I wasn't aware of that. Probably, yeah, not many people knew. That the clay that are is um. Yeah, at that time we didn't have um, English para el trabajo online. It was only presencial. We had we yes. had, because of pandemic we switched to um, to online. But eventually, yes. I think we're gonna go back to like presencial classes and everything. So before the pandemic, I uh, achieved mm -hmm. three courses. Okay. In the Rudolfone. Okay. All right. Okay. But it was Excel. Yeah, Excel. They had Excel there. Yes, you're right. Three, three levels. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, that's good. That's good. Yeah. Very good. But nice. then the pandemic changed everything. <laughs> changed everything. And so then my my boss told me that the the courses of English will be online. Yes. So yeah, I think it's it's better. What I think, what I think. <laughs> yes, I think these online courses are very good for people that don't live in San Salvador or they finish work very late and they have access to English classes online, which I think it's nice. Okay, yes. Very good, Vane. Okay, thank you for the chat. It's nice to have you in class and I'm glad that you like the classes and I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, teacher. Thank you, Carlita. Good night. Good night. Bye. 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 You too. Bye now.